E3, but right now, uh, this is a special moment for me because this is a guy who I always love to see at E3. Your grandfather. I, <laughs> the one and only Michael Pachter. Jeff Keighley. The guy who has the, the biggest party at E3. I do. You can come. I know. We'll be there Tuesday night. All so, right. so Michael Pachter, uh, people, you don't know Michael Pachter. Michael was on my my show on uh, on TV for many, many years. When you were 16. Online, when I was a little kid. When I was 50. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. But you were always known for some of your predictions, and the people on the forums watching now always wonder what Michael Pact is going to have to say. Um, so we thought we'd bring in for a little state of the industry, uh, get your reaction to things. So let's start with, with Xbox um, today. <laughs> okay. Are we looking great? <laughs> no, I think, is not I think that uh, okay, look, I, I, was, I was impressed by 4K. It's pretty. Uh -huh. The screen was amazing, so it really did jump out The screen out at in you. the venue. Yeah, it yeah, really yeah. jumped out at you how great some of this uh -huh. stuff looks. Even Minecraft. I mean, you take yeah. something that's like 8-bit or 16-bit, and it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, I have to say the game that I thought was the coolest looking of all of them, Battleground. Yeah. Like, I was just like, this that's game is... an amazing is, story. That, and I actually yeah. played it on PC, and I, I mean, yeah. I think I've never lasted more than like 30 kills in. Yeah. Like, I, there's 70 people left when I yeah. die. And I'm like, I realize I suck with the keyboard and the mouse, and I think maybe with a controller I can make it to like the last 50. Okay. Um, amazing game. Yep. Uh, I think, I, I just hitting your last couple of guests, Charla did a good job. They had yeah. huge, you know, volume of content, a lot of, like, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the big three first party titles, like yeah. Sea of Thieves, really? Yeah. Like, I'm not playing that. Crackdown, maybe. I think it was a little, I didn't like the cell shading, but maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Um, but are those games that are going to sell the power of the system, the true power? I suppose, but how many units are they going to sell? You know, right. two, three million each? I mean, not enough. So, you know, I think that the, the big takeaway is the, the Xbox One X costs the same as an Xbox One S plus a PS4. Yep. So if you don't have a console, it's like, do I buy that one or do I buy two? Yep. And I, I personally would buy two. I'd rather. No, well, that's. So, I think that's, that's a thing hard to me. Sell. It's like you know, double the price of the S. It's a lot. And it's like you know, are the games going to be that much better? Because right. look, when you think of the audience for this, you're going to have you know, certain part of the audience will be the Xbox One S audience, the people that want to have the best out there. The same guys you know buy a new PC graphics card every year because yep. they don't need to. But there's a percentage of the audience is that. But you know, what you saw today is there anything there that you saw was going to draw away the PlayStation audience? Say like, my PS4 is not powerful enough anymore, no. so I'm going to go get this Xbox no. One X. And, and isn't that supposed to be the play? It will happen eventually. Yeah. Um, 4K TV in the U.S. is maybe 10% of households. Uh -huh. By year end, it'll be 20, maybe 25, because the the prices are coming down to where sure. you might as well future proof. A year from now, when we're at 40, maybe yeah. you care. But if you don't have a 4K TV. Unless you're Gary Witta, right? You know, you're not going to go buy a 4K TV just to play games. Right. So it's not going to happen. Um, so how has PS4 Pro been doing? Not selling well, and I think it's okay. the same thing. People don't appreciate the value proposition, so it's you know 3.99, right. and a PS4 has been largely 2.49 all year, yeah. 2.99 nominally, but there's always. I think a lot of people are still buying PS4. Over they PS4. totally are. You yeah, see the numbers. I'm people sure. don't yeah. get why they want one. It right. doesn't have 4K Blu-ray. You know, people don't even know what the letters HDR stand for. Right. So, no. I mean, it, there's, they don't get the value proposition. Right. I'll give Microsoft that. They, they branded this thing as, you got a 4K TV, you need a 4K box. Yep. I get that. Do you know what a teraflop is? Because I sure as hell don't know. Mm -hmm. So, six, how, what is a PS4? I have PS4 no idea. 4.2 teraflop? Beautiful. Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah. I would not know a teraflop if it flopped oh, no, in PS4 my face. PS4 Pro, I think, is 4. There you go. So, yeah. What does it mean? Yeah. I don't know right. what it means. Like. Yeah. The, don't throw out meaningless stats. Yeah. I barely know what 4K is, and I'm actually smart about this shit. Yeah. But I'm not to say shit on. TV. You can say whatever Sorry. you want. On each. I'm pretty smart about that stuff. But um, you know, I know what 8 million pixels is. Do you know how many p pixels there are in your cell phone camera? I don't. Eight. And do you care? Right. Right. You don't. Yeah. Did you buy your cell phone because it has eight megapixels instead of two? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Are you going to buy an Xbox because it has eight megapixels instead of two? No. Okay. So then what? So. What, what would you grade the press conference today? What did you think? Okay, I liked that it was super focused on software. Uh -huh. I liked that there were probably 50 titles. I mean, that B-roll sh probably showed 20 of them you yeah. know, in about three minutes. Um, I think they dwelled on the ones that aren't that compelling a little too long, yeah. like Sea of Thieves. Well, they had, I thought, a really great start with 
Forza looked amazing. That yeah. Metro game and a great incredible. end. I thought yeah. the end was amazing. Yeah. So yeah. I thought the last they had games, three really big games. Right. Yeah. So I already forgot the name of Shadow anthem. of what? Shadow of Oh Shadow of War. The, Shadow of uh, War and then Anthem. Yeah. Yeah. So Shadow of War actually looked more interesting to me than Shadow of Mordor. Uh -huh. So I was like, okay, I actually will play that game. Yeah. And Anthem looked like what I really wish Destiny had been. Like uh -huh. I thought that was really a good looking game. Yeah. So they ended with a great punch. Yeah. But I don't need an Xbox One X to play those games. Yep. So again, yes, I think they did a good job on software. It was interesting to me you didn't see any big name third party titles that are established franchises. Right. You didn't see Star Wars, you didn't see FIFA, you didn't see Call of Duty. Well, PlayStation has most of those deals, I feel like. Exactly. Right? So yeah. we're gonna see those tomorrow. Yeah. And then we're gonna forget all about the Xbox press conference. Right. But because that's what people know. But I actually thought the, the volume of, of content today, mm -hmm. and the, it was actually generally very high quality, and I say it's all Charla. I mean, yeah. Charla actually signed up like Cuphead. Yeah. I'm going to play that. Incredible. You are too. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. I mean, th those are cool little titles. and that But makes they're going to come fun. to other platforms a couple months later. And they should. Uh, so four ninety nine is a price. Uh, you know, this morning I was on Twitter saying yes. you know, I had... I heard very I well. I gave you props. Uh, you did give me props. Yeah. I was like pretty sure they were going to go 4 I would give you props for the X. I, okay. I thought that exactly. was a good call. Yeah, yeah. X. You, so it's like we. You, you know, said 10. Yeah, yeah 10, X. Um, but 4 99 people were freaking out this morning. I actually think it's like not that bad a price for what you're getting technologically. And when I did a poll a week ago, 40% of the audience on Twitter thought it was going to be 4 99 But this morning, people went crazy about that number. Is yeah. it too much? Yes. Uh, this, I mean, it's not too much for what you get. Right. It's too much for the wallet. The differentiation, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like, look how many years into the cycle we are. I mean, this is the fourth year of the cycle. Yeah. Consoles are supposed to cost 150. Yeah. And you kind of, you know, if this thing came out at 299, it would have been a home run. Right. At 399, I think people would have grinned and toughed it out. 499 sounds like it's a brand new console, and they were very clear. This yeah. is not a brand new console. It's part of the family. And you know the name, of course, right? It's just like you know. I, oh, I like I said, I, I, you got me thinking about ten in the title. Yeah. I like I was like X. That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. I like the name. I'm yeah, okay shortens the Xbox. Yeah. So, uh, how do you think it does then? Uh, is it sort of it just would a niche? It would play? surprise me if they sell twenty percent of their total units as this device. So, if they sell ten million next year, it yeah. would surprise me if they do too. Okay. They could. Um, the only guys who are going to buy it out, out of the gate are Xbox owners who want to right. upgrade. And it depends on the GameStop trade-in deal. You know, if yeah. GameStop says, we'll give you a $200 credit, sure, yeah. they'll get a lot. So what do you think Sony does? Do they worry? Do they do a PS5 in the next couple of years? What do you think happens? Uh, if the price had been $399, you would have had a price cut on PS4 Pro tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it wasn't, so you probably don't need one, but I think they cut anyway. Yeah. So I think PS4 goes to $249 every day all the time probably with a bundle, so it'll, it'll be competitive. And PS4 Pro probably goes to 349. If they go to 299, Microsoft has a problem. Do you think they would do that tomorrow? Could. Really? I don't know. You know, Sony, unfortunately, Sony's actually making money and now they're greedy about it. It used to be when they were losing money, they were predictable. Yeah. Now that they're making money, they kind of like it. And they probably, you know, they have runway till November. So yeah, yeah. yeah. They, uh, I think they won't react. I think 499 gave them breathing room. Yeah. We went through this in 2013 when they both announced the boxes. Yeah. And Microsoft price so high. Yeah. And Sony breathed a sigh of relief and, you know, didn't have to do it. So, we'll see. But do you think, uh, do you think Sony's, should they be worried that Xbox now has the most powerful system out there, as they say? Yeah, you know, that's like the tallest midget. Who cares? Yeah. I mean, you can get a PC that's more powerful and pay more, but right. but if you want to play a, a great game, I mean, you can put well, it. Well, especially now, I think it's you know it's a different equation because all these games work on all the systems. Right. So it's like there are no Scorpio exclusive games. So in some ways, the games are being held back a little bit because they have to work for you know Xbox One S and Xbox One X. So it's just, to me, it's like it's sort of a different equation. Also, the the, the differentiation in these games, it's it's hard to see the difference. I thought when I saw Metro. And Forza and a little bit of Anthem, I'm like, okay, those feel like appreciably different. But for, you know, 80% of the press conference, the content there, I was like, looks like the stuff so, I played So let me, get, let me give you a stat. Do you know yeah. what the average price of a television last year was in the United States? Any television? Of, of all televisions averaged, like the total, total dollars divided by total units. $434. Say $500. Yeah. 434 Yeah. This is more expensive than the TV most people have. Mm -hmm. And at 434 most people have a 32 to 40 inch TV. Right. So... They can't tell 4K versus 1080p. And, X and Xbox One launched at 499, I think. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's just like that's a price point that consumers think is too much. Yeah. Even though you know, I know you make a lot of money, and I and I hope that I'm in your will. Um, yeah, but it's like it doesn't sound like a lot to you and me, but it's a lot of money. 
Yeah. And if you're like some working schmo who's making 20 bucks an hour, you're thinking like, I gotta work a week yeah. and, and not eat okay. to buy that thing. It's, it's hard. All right, so before we move on, I gotta ask you about Nintendo. Reggie was just here. Switch seems to be doing pretty it well. Is. Um, is it this Nintendo's year then? I mean, where do you think? You know, I think that people are reading Switch as a really successful console when I think it's a really successful handheld. Okay. I think that they, they put out a super high quality $300 handheld. Right. I have not yet met a person who actually puts that thing in the docking station and plays on their TV. <laughs> Everybody sits on their lap because it looks great Nothing and it's right that, there. It feels, no, it's totally fine. But so, yes, Nintendo continues its handheld dominance. But no, they don't have a console. And there's nobody alive who says, oh, I'm trading in my PS4, I'm getting a Switch, and I'm never going back. No, it's a supplement. Okay, it might be a starter handheld for your kid, or it's a supplement if you're over 12, but it is not a standalone console. So yes, they continue to dominate handheld, good for them. And it's great that they've taken handheld software to the level where it's console-like. Like Zelda, yeah, but it's the a, Breath it's of the Wild. You would no, it's amazing. Game. No, it's a, it's yeah. like one of the best games ever. But I'm saying they finally, they finally narrowed that gap. Mm -hmm. You know, so what that tells you is it's only a matter of ten years, and mobile games will have, you know, that same kind of quality. Right. But it's a handheld, so it shouldn't be in the same discussion mm -hmm. as Xbox One and PS4. Um, yes, Nintendo's got maintain their dominance in handheld, and they will sell a lot of those things. So big year for Nintendo on yes. Switch. Sony, I'm sure, probably will have a lot of great games to show. We'll see how many of those ship in this year. But Sony will look like it's got all these third-party exclusives, right. and they aren't. I mean, Call of Duty is not exclusive, right. nor is FIFA, nor is Star Wars. Star Wars, all these right. big games, right. we'll have to see. All right, well, always interesting times. Michael Pachter, great having you with us. I'll try not to pull a Charla and walk off on, on camera. I, I, no, you're, you're fresh. And we can check out your show, right? You've got the Pachter Factor. There you go. On YouTube? I, I need, I need uh, Twitter followers. Oh, I've got, this. I've got like no Twitter followers. So okay. can, you, can I just say at yes. Michael Pachter? Yes. If you want to be offended, you yes. can follow me on Twitter. The Pack Attack. All right. Great to see you, Michael Pachter. Thank you for making Thank you, the Jeff time. Thank you, Jeff Keeley. Uh, now it is time 